at Ferrum College. Welcome to our show. During this broadcast, you're going to find out everything you need to know about this year's Ferrum College Creative Industries Showcase on Thursday, the 23rd of June. We are so excited to share with you the amazing talent that's on offer this year from our brilliant, hardworking and creative students. To get things started, here's a little montage of images giving you a flavour of what is to come on our show today. That video gave us a good insight in what is coming up in the show today. Now, let's go to Greg, our Curriculum Area Manager for Media and Performing Arts, who is going to tell you a little bit more about the showcase. Enjoy! So my name is Greg Kitchen, I'm the Curriculum Area Manager for Creative Industries here at Ferrum College. Uh, my role within the showcase is essentially all the logistics behind it, uh, making sure that all our different subject areas have their own spaces to showcase the skills and the work that they've put on, uh, and basically to do all the behind the scenes stuff to make sure that what goes on on Thursday the 23rd of June is a success. So the showcase is a celebration of all the work created by our students in a range of different subject areas from media to performing arts and music, art and design, fashion, photography, graphics, production arts, uh, hair, and, uh, hair and beauty, uh, specialist makeup, holistic therapies, the whole lot we cover, you know, there'll be demonstrations, there'll be work, there'll be performances across all those different subjects. Uh, the showcase has been put together through lots of hard work from all of our lecturers and our students, lots of blood, sweat and tears has, uh, has gone into this event. Um, it's, the selection process is done through the final major project, um, which every student within our faculty undertakes, um, and that is meant to be you know, the culmination of their skills that they've learned throughout the year. Um, and putting all those skills into one big project at the end of the year. Um, the, those projects then will be then put forward for selection by the lecturers to be showcased. Often what we find is the quality of work that our learners produce is so high that we end up showing all the work. So um, that's how the showcase gets put together. So there's a couple of different ways that people can um, partake in the showcase. They can come along at 4 o'clock on Thursday to the uh, 23rd of June. It runs until around 8pm. Um, we take over almost the entire Bishopsfield Road campus of Fairham College. We'll have catwalks and fashion shows in our C block across here and in B and A block is all of our art and design um, exhibitions. In E block we'll have performing arts um, shows going on and even outside we'll have music performances as well. Uh, and then we'll have little cinema rooms for the for the media work as well. Um, so by all means, you know, friends, family, peers, you know, general public, come along uh, to the college to have a look. If you can't make it, then it's also being live streamed uh, live on YouTube. Our lovely HNC media students are putting together uh, some uh, video packages to showcase all the work that's been going on around the faculty, as well as live streaming the events that are happening on the day. So we're online and in person. Thank you, Greg, for the details of the event. And now to look at the higher education students' work. One of the practical pieces of this, the work that this year's students do is a live TV show. And this is part of their TV show, television studio unit. On the HNC Level 4 Creative Media Production course, they cover a wide range of both practical and academic aspects of film and, and, and media, including the production of their own short film as part of their film practice unit. Now, here are the Level 4 HNC group to tell you more about their films. <laughs> Can you just smile and wave? Nice. 
Run and wave. Keep his smile and wave face. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Ultimately, the motivation behind my film was to create an artistic uh, representation of a mind, basically. A lot, of, a lot of the film has revolved around just atmosphere uh, because I wanted to represent a, a mindset of just uh, ambient space. Uh, there's a lot of themes that go across my fil film that um, may not be understood by lots of people, uh, but it's all based in uh, symbolism, metaphor, and uh yeah nice <laughs> what what's the motivation behind your film um so i wanted to make a film that sort of my target audience could relate to and i wanted to sort of try and spin a positive story out of the uh pandemic and the lockdowns of 2020 and 2021 so i tried to incorporate sort of like a little bit of the positive elements and like of society coming together during a period of trouble for a lot of people the motivation for my film, I, um, I'm a big gamer, um, mental health and gaming are two very uh, impactful things in my life um, and there's been a lot of stereotypes saying that gaming is quite bad for mental health, that it can cause increases of anxiety and depression in people, especially young ages. I, I kind of wanted to make a film that would touch upon these themes and to make a good point on why it can be very beneficial for your mental health. And I also want to talk about some games that focus on mental health topics, but the, the story of those games as well. Okay, Harry, what was the motivation behind your movie? It's a tricky question. Um, I know I wanted to make a film about cancel culture, um, and that on social media it's easily it's easily done to get the wrong end of the stick with something. I'm not really know the actual intentions of someone's post or what someone's saying and how easy it is for miscommunication to happen on social media and that having empathy and having understanding for other people is like such an important thing that I think my generation really needs to like work on in a way um, and also I wanted to show how you can make art from a traumatic experience and you can turn like pain or trauma into something artistic or creative and you can find like beauty and pain and I found that quite a healing thing about my film. Same question for you Keith, what was your motivation? Okay, uh, my motivation really was to drive a film that would help me get funding to go and do a climate crisis film in Finland. Yeah. Um, so I, I wanted to do a documentary about wildlife, but I quickly realised that if I want to do that, it takes about a year at least to get to understand a wildlife family. So, for, for example, one of my favourite subjects is otters. Mm -hmm. So to understand what's happening with a female otter and its family, you really have to be there for 12 to 18 months, mm -hmm. and I couldn't do that. Yeah. So the motivation was to make it a, a bit smaller and do a documentary about a woman who watched otters. Oh, okay. It was easier that way. Nice. Thank you for all those fascinating insights into your work. Now, we will take a look into the fashion and makeup departments at the college. Hi, my name is Jess and I'm the fashion and clothing course leader here at Ferrum College. So here um, in Fashion and Clothing, we have been doing across um, the two extended year diploma. Um, the first years have been learning like core cool skills within fashion and textiles. So drawing it back to basics and learning like new skills or developing and adapting the current skills. Um, also doing like projects around uh, professional production. So looking into like all couture and how they can make their garments look really professional. 
and then they've been given um, a final major project with a given theme from the examination board and they've all come up with their own creative base like individual product um, projects um, second years have been doing around marketing and media so looking into the more business and marketing side of fashion um, and also doing their own self-led briefs so the last two projects are around um, you know a given theme and then they come up with their own sort of you know idea and then hopefully execute it the way that they wish to i love my job and seeing you know to be able to see like students progress and grow so starting from the beginning of their, their college journey so whether they're coming up from school or transitioning from another college or you know they may be doing something completely different and they just want to you know come in learn even new things or enhance those skills it's really nice to see that they can progress from the beginning of the year throughout the year to towards the end whether it's learning something completely new or whether it's developing those kind of more softer skills so actually it could be like confidence being able to communicate and work with other people it's just really nice to see people grow as individuals so the creative industries showcase that will be hosted in june um, is a really good opportunity for not just fashion students but um, students across the creative industry faculty to showcase their work so things that they've been you know developing working upon like this academic year also it's a good opportunity um, to socialize in the sense of networking with industry professionals and um, other sort of students around the college so this could you know encourage um, future collaboration um, and yeah just to maybe grow confidence as well so being able to you know talk about their work being able to present it and um, yeah communicate like their ideas and hopefully inspire other people to potentially create work similar or you know in their own sort of way in the future thanks for those videos the showcase will be very well designed and will excite those interested in these subjects Lastly, I will talk to Rob Hine, one of the light media lecturers and the tutor of the Level 4 HMC course here at Durham College. How are you? Hey, how are you, Rob? Yep, yeah, really well, thanks, Caitlin. Very happy to be here. Well, thank you for coming. Um, to explain to the audience, what is your role here at Durham College? Yeah, so um, I teach on the um, Level 3 Creative Media Production course, which obviously you're yeah. uh, part of, and also um. I teach on the um, HMC Level 4 creative media production course and the students making this TV show right now uh, are part of that course and this is one of their assessments for, 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 for a unit. Uh, so I teach on those courses, I am also have uh, I'm curriculum manager for higher education so courses that are kind of sort of our, you know, level four and above kind of fall under my uh, purview. Well, perfect. Well, can you explain a little bit more of what's going to be showcased at this showcase event on the 23rd of June? Yeah, of course. So it's going to be a fantastic evening. I encourage everyone that's watching this to do come along and, and check it out. It's going to be running from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock on the evening of Thursday, the 23rd of June. Mm -hmm. uh, so there'll be TV screens up where students can, uh, people can come in and watch films and TV shows that the students have made over the course of the year. Uh, there will be live performances from the music students, so we're going to have a marquee outside in the quad uh, and they'll be playing there, so there's going to be live music all evening, um, work by the graphics and photography and art students will be displayed in a gallery uh, along the, the art corridor, so there's going to be loads of really fantastic visual art to look at. Uh, the um, hair and beauty students are going to be showing off some of their work as well so we'll be able to see kind of amazing hairstyles and makeup effects uh, there's going to be a catwalk uh, area where so that will be being shown off that will involve some work from the fashion students as well so pretty much every department that's in the creative industry uh, department is going to have some work on display so it's going to be an amazing evening do come along it's the highlight of our year uh, it'll be a fantastic thing for people to come along and see Oh, well, thank you for coming here. Um, I'm excited to see what happens at the Thursday yeah, 23rd. Great, yeah. It's going to be brilliant. Thank you. This has been a very informative look into the work by some of our creative industry students. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far at the work of the work at Ferrum College. And you can see much more in person or online at the Creative Showcase on the 23rd of June between 4 to 8 p.m. Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon. Goodbye.